Dobra večer svima. My name is Belma Islamovic. I am from the European country Bosnia and Herzegovina. That used to be a Yugoslavia. My last name Islamovic tells people that I am Muslim. This became very important when my country broke up in eight na independent nation, each with a different religion. I grew up in the beautiful town of Mostar. That means old bridge. An old and beautiful stone bridge by, built by the Turks five centuries ago. My family had an apartment on eighth floor looking over the river valley. It was a gift from the company where my father worked as a truck driver for 35 years. I had a really good life in my country. I was sure that after I finish school, I will get a job and I get married just as my mother had. Every day after school, me and my girlfriends walk to a cafe by my house. We will drink espresso, looking at the river and talking about the boys and the fashion. <laughs> On the winter break, when it was very cold and snowing, we visit my family in the mountains. In the summer, father takes us to the sea for vacation. Across Europe, the TV show Beverly Hills 90210 was very popular. <laughs> My friends and I like it watching American kids taking the bus to school. Through the Dallas show, I learned about Texas Rangers, horses, women with big hair, and men and women with the power. <laughs> for many years in my country, Serbs, Catholic, Jewish, Gypsy, and Muslim lived together and married each other. We spoke the same language, but in 1992, war was started by the Serbs, and we had to defend ourselves from our former neighbors. My father joined Bosnian army. Then one day, Croat soldier came to our door with the guns and told my mom that all of us women must leave by next day noon, or they will come and toss us from the balcony. I felt really afraid for the first time. We threw some clothes in our suitcase and left our home, car, and everything that we own. Suddenly, our enemy declared ethnic cleansing against the Muslim, and the Mostar Valley was cut in the middle of sniper. Fire from Serbs in the mountains on one side and Croat in the other side mountains. Men were placed in the concentration camp where they starved to death. And women suffered in rape camps. Every sniper shooting down at us in the street. School and shop closed because of the bombs. Nowhere to walk, no food. The only food that we get is dropped by UN aeroplanes. Kids don't have a milk. No, we don't even have the water. We will go on the river during the night, bring the water for the drinking and washing. No electricity, no gasoline, and nowhere to escape. I forget the normal times when we had a peace. Each morning, I wonder if I will live to complete the day. If I would have food, or the, here the, my father had been killed. One night I was sleeping with my middle sister Selma, and I heard a loud explosion. I woke up hearing screaming and feeling terrible pain under my arms. A shell hit my bedroom and exploded on my bed. My parents grabbed me but, me, but in the dark, they didn't even know which daughter I was. My father had to save a bottle of gasoline for emergency, and he poured in the gas tank so the car would start. They rushed me to the hospital, but the injury was so bad that the doctor left me to die. Until one of them realized that my father was in the army, and he decided to save my life. When I woke up, my parents were crying. They didn't know how to tell me that I lost both hands and my arms. I stayed in the hospital for six months, 
Every day I want to die. I stop eating and asking God, why this happened to me? I begin to hate, hate my enemies. One day, two medics came in my room, carrying a stretcher stained with the blood. They asked me, are you going to walk or are we going to carry you with this? When I saw those dirty stretchers with the blood, I said, no, no, I'm going to the walk. <laughs> they started laughing. I realized they wanted to help me to get my life better. So from that moment, I go from one room to another room, from patient to patient, and I saw some of them, they don't have arms. Some of them, they don't have legs. Some of them, they don't have eyes. I realized I was, the only, I was not the only one person who had been injured. In Abilene, Dr. Roberta Califort decided to bring an injured Bosnian. She had a long, a long list of medical evacuees and dropped her pen on the paper. So God will decide who she will be, be bring to the Texas. Her pen fell on my name. I was the lucky one. Allah picked me to come to America. So the UN arranged for my mom and my younger two sisters and me to go to Abilene. We left my father in Mostar to fight. When we arrived in America, we did not speak English, only hello and bye. <laughs> for a year and a half, mom worked cleaning hospital room for a minimum wage, pay for food, rent, and even repay the plane ticket, and sent back money to our grandparents who had no food because of the war. In fi finally, in 1995, the war in co my country ended and my father came to America to stay with us. I was so happy and give the thanks to God that we are all reunited. So for 19 years now, I live, in my, I live with my family in Dallas, and in 2009, I become an American citizen. One of the steps for naturalization is fingerprinting. When I went for my appointment, the employee didn't know what to do. <laughs> So they reported me as a not showing up and it rejected my application. Oh. I had to start all over and pay $300 again. It took my father two weeks to earn that much money. I was very happy when I finally became American citizen. When you have been a refugee, you have lost your country, your home, your family, and your language, and your identity. You have to start all over in a strange country that you did not choose. Immigrants decide to move to another nation, but we did not want to leave our country. War and shell force us to leave Bosnia. Because of that, we are close to each other. We left everything and everybody. My parents are not citizens because they don't speak English very well. Mom spelled one word wrong and she was the rejected. So we cannot travel together. My younger sister, Haira, got married and lived in Switzerland, and I can travel to visit her easily with my American passport, but mom and dad, they cannot. My first 20 years were spent in Mostar, and the second 20 years here in the United States. I tell everyone that I love America and that I have two homes. Here, I don't have to live like a handicapped person, but in Bosnia, the disabled are treated very differently. Here, I can go to school, find a job, feel like a normal person who has hands. During the war in my country, 100,000 people get killed, and 800,000 people become a refugee. I have, a for, I have forgive the Croat soldier who destroyed my Bosnian world. We are all made by the same God, and he is the one to judge, not to me. I live life with the same goals as before the war, to get married, to have a job, and to be happy. Every day I thank God. I am alive and can enjoy the rest of my life. I hope that through sharing my story, others will be inspired to overcome their difficulties too.